Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix from Phoenix TV. Welcome to 2022, first video of the year. Let's head to Melbourne Summer, where even though we're only like three k's away from Diamond Creek. As you can see, we are now here, which took us around like three to five minutes. But yeah, the Community Bank Stadium, the usual place for uh, Melbourne summer. Walking out, the moment everyone else is doing FMC, I decided to uh, tap out. But um, I guess I'll show you the venue and yeah, cuts that right now. Turns out Square One's in the main stadium. It is very sparse as you can tell at the moment, but tomorrow it's gonna be packed. And we got all the other people up on the very top. There you go. This will also be my first competition where I'm using the G5. So now it's actually past lunchtime and Square One's about to start soon. Oh yeah, Square One and Three Blind. If I if I get a seven single, then that'll be nice. It was whatever. Yeah, we're That's, that's an 11 average. Oh, really? Not bad. Not bad. So I got PR average, barely. Previous PR average was 1173, got 1169. But yeah, um, yeah, good luck to everyone that is competing tomorrow, today. Hello, Max. Um, and the day after, too, for the finals. But yeah, time to go to like the extras or whatever before the next event, which I think is 6x6 or Mega Minx. Everyone's going over to calculate. Uh, it's six, 619 average, second in the world. Not bad, pretty good. He did have two attempts, so he get a 572, and if he got that, that would have been the world first sub six. But hey, still, OCR average. Uh, I was about to say plus single, but no, you got a 541 single, which, I mean, it's close, but not actually it. But uh, I think up next is six by six from what I remember. I'm not too sure. But anyway, we'll just cut to it uh, right now. Yes, let's go 340. Oh, what? Let's go. Well, I finished uh, Mega Max. I somehow got a 104 single, but now we're gonna go over to Square One second round to finish off the day. As you can clearly tell, I am sweating because that other hall where I did six by six and seven by seven, it's like it's like it feels like it's like 50 degrees in there. But whatever. Hopefully, I can get maybe a maybe a PR average again if I could uh, in Square One second round and make it to the finals. But yeah, let's cut over to that right now. That's it for day one. We're gonna we'll skip over to day two. The first event is three by three. Going right. We'll probably be outside now. We're back at the competition. Day two. Full blind and five blind going on. Even though, as you can tell, it's quite loud and um, the other venue. It's going on in the side stadium where it's like 40 degrees in now. So good luck to all those. We're probably gonna go sneak in there just to see what's going on for the moment. And then yeah, Fu Rat 3 is the first event. Of course I have to be in group one. So hopefully everything is all well, but I'm gonna quickly just see what's going on in the other room and we gotta be quiet. So 
Surprisingly, it actually wasn't that hot outside. I thought it'd be, or not outside, in the hall. I thought it'd be absolutely like Dead. humid, yeah. <laughs> but no, surprisingly it isn't. It's like almost the same temperature as the main hall, which is nice. Yeah. But anyway, time going through by three. Hopefully I get my PR average because I barely beat it the last comp, but I could have gone uh, 7.1 average or whatever. Three by three. I think that's it. It's a 4.5. Scoop went pretty well. I got a tight PR average, 375. Um, now, up next is 2x2. Two two. I'll probably record a few other things here and there. Hopefully, I'll just get something good. After a really good 4x4 average, time to do the event that pretty much gained most of my subscribers. Clock. 8 seconds. Cut off to 20 seconds. Yeah, 614. Nice. Here. Yeah, it's good. Yes. 8 seconds. Yes, another 6. Nice. Can I check the other side? That's unfortunate. Oh no, DNF! Oh no. Oh, I finally I lost my I lost my non-DNF streak. No. Oh, let's go. Oh. Plus six. Five ninety nine. Wait, check the other side to make sure, please. Yeah, so one more round. Yes! Mid six average or one six. Good. Yes. Wow, so I just got a 642 average on clock with a 599 single. Uh, the average is 72nd in the world, which is my highest ranking event. I'll probably beat that out soon though with 2x2 two two tomorrow, but we'll just see. But um, yeah, we have two more events for the day. Pyraminx and Scoob second round. Uh, for both events, hopefully just the sub-4 average or something to make me into the semis. Because they somehow both have four uh, rounds. Okay, I've forgotten to record a few souls from other people. But, Michael, okay, three blind is now going on. Okay, this is second round. <laughs>
Now time for the final event of the day, Skew. Fast forward three hours later and I'm in the hotel about to go to sleep for day three. Um, for Scoob, I don't even know if I made it to semis. I probably did, but I don't know. I'll just check in a sec. In the afternoon at 6pm, there was a thing called Mystery Events. Now, originally, originally I wasn't going to plan on uh, doing the events because you had to, they had to know how to solve in under 10 minutes. 2x2 two two to 5x5. Five Mega Minx, Pyraminx, Scube, Square One, and 3x3 three three blindfolded. Obviously, I don't. And at the last minute, just before I was about to go on, I decided to participate anyway, just to see what would happen. Um, and long story short, uh, got down to the finals, me versus Raleigh, and I won. I honestly did not think I was even going to make it past the first bit, but... I guess I've won $75 uh, that goes to a, a different cube company as well as a free registration ticket to Oceanic Champs which is going on in like 11 months so I'll probably forget about it entirely but and eh, we'll just see what happens. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll go on to day 3. Uh, I guess see you tomorrow? I don't know, in 2 seconds. Back for the third day, okay? 23rd of January. Two by two, second round is the first thing up. Jacob's running away uh, up to the stadium. Zach just got here, David as well. Pretty much starting up, uh, I guess, the popularity of the competition. Even though it's gonna be like the first day where there's nowhere near as many people. First event is two by two, I already said that. Whatever, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> Another fail yet again. Full solve was really easy. Could have been like a 1.3 single, so I would have calculated to around 1.5 as well. But obviously, I got to at least drop it once in every single 2x2 two two average that I do. I do have two more attempts later today, but we'll just see how that goes. Guaranteed semis, but we'll just see. Next up is 2x3 second round. Hopefully, I can get my PR average. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi.
that's just a fire alarm. So just had lunch, um, but while I was getting there, Jacob has footage, I wasn't recording for our lunch. Um, there was a massive siren that was going on. It was, it was very obnoxious and loud, but um, it was funny. There you go, you can say hi. Um, now I have square one. Let's just see what I get, maybe podium. Like, and also I got third place on clock. Melbourne Summer 2022. I got two podiums, technically three because of the mystery events. Yeah, next competition is Brilliant Ballarat, which will be on February 12th and 13th. I'm kind of happy about some results, not with others, but yeah, we'll just see what happens in the next competition. But um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next competition or next unboxing or whatever. Peace out. Mm -hmm.